Good evening. I want to welcome you. It's Alan again. And we're going to use yet another mod on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, today, Euro Truck Simulator 2 multiplayer released a new um, mod, but I'm not going to do that one yet. Uh, I am going to do this Ford uh, mod that they that I, that came out about a week ago. I usually give them about a week and then look at the mods and see what people have to say about them, good or bad. Um, yeah. So. So, we will go to truck dealers. I didn't look to see where it would be found, so again, I will go through and try to find everyone. Look at that, it's right there. How genuinely nice of them to put it right there. So this is the Ford Cargo 2520 Cello Cap, or uh, sorry, by Cello Captain. Um, let's see what uh, we can do to customize this bad boy. It looks pretty cool like this, but let's see. You've got your cargo. You got your uh, that one, or you got that one. What's the difference? I think it's. It does not appear to be much different. Interesting. I have a feeling there'll be something different here. Yeah, so you can go with a uh, box truck, or a invisible truck, or the standard. I'm gonna try the invisible truck because I. No, I'm gonna go with the standard truck. I want my truck to actually appear. Uh, we have a choice of 360, 410, 460, or 510. I'm gonna go with 510. Uh, let's see here. Super 10. I'll go with the 16 because I know everybody was like, go with it. So this is the interior. Very, very Ford basic. Paint colors are basic as well. I'll choose the cheapest one. Let's see what we can do with this. Not a whole lot, it looks like. It's interesting that I choose one up there, and it, yeah, apparently they're, uh, okay, that's kind of odd, apparently their um, positioning of these things isn't quite uh, done well, but whatever, it appears I'm stuck with that. Let's confirm that. Let's purchase that. Let's put that. I believe it's Amsterdam that has a few spots free. So we'll tuck it into Amsterdam. And uh, we will go on. And we are driving this Ford that I was going to drive earlier. Uh, before we take off in the, tr in the Ford, though, we'll take a look at it. Apparently there is no, well, there we go, there's the external look at it, nothing too special. Um, I do question this drivability. I didn't think it would be driving, but it looks like that little piece there is complete.
it's interesting, to be honest, that the mirrors do not show up in the game. Um, oh, there they are. Okay, so it was odd. Uh, All right, so I said earlier that I was going to try out this uh, new Ford uh, cargo van that I have. So there we have the 2520. The link will, of course, be in the description of the YouTube video. It's not an ugly vehicle. It's not a nice vehicle either. It's horrible sounding. <laughs> and apparently... The indicator lights are on the inside of the truck. <laughs> uh, let's see, turn lights on, lights on. Oh, that was close. This has got a nice sharp uh, turning curve, though. That's always useful. It's got a uh, 510 horsepower, 2500 newton meter, uh, 16 speed uh, engine in it. So it's going to be quite interesting to see uh, how she pulls things. If, if she pulls things. <laughs> so we got six. I'm going to take a light load and a short load because I don't want to uh, be doing too much. So I'll take a six uh, ton load of uh, also reservoir tank basically. That's what this. Uh, is up. I like Fords generally. I'm just not too sure about this particular truck. And uh, if she's up to uh, <laughs> that kind of drive. It looks like the person, uh, it sounds like the person who wanted it before me, although I bought it new in the yard. Didn't take much care of it. So when I was showing you the Earl truck last week, the wheels were so huge that the trailer was at an angle. This one luckily is not. So, let's go driving. We've got 372 kilometers to go. It needs to be there between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. And we're supposed to arrive now by about 2.6 a.m. So we should be okay. Keyboard of course, as always, Provided this uh, little Ford to get us there. People who dislike Fords tend to uh, make the name into an actor and they'll found out they're dead. People who love uh, Fords, uh, first on road daily or something like that, you know. He, it depends on the deal. Things got some pick up that for sure. Um, I like certain Fords, I like certain Dodges, I like certain, you know, uh, Chrysler vehicles. But I don't like or hate the brand as a whole. Um, I love the Ford F-150, 250, and 350 series. I love the Mustangs. And I'm not so keen on some of the newer stuff. I love the older uh, Tempo. And, um, Focus that they had uh, for a while. Um, for example, that's that for Dodge, I love the I love the Caravan minivan. And I love the um, uh, what do you call it? The um, Neons. The Neons are a cool car. Um, I've owned a Dodge Spirit, '91 Dodge Spirit, also 
fault of the other plane. Um, beautiful cars. Those K cars were great. They lasted and lasted and lasted. If you want a car that lasted, you got a K car. Uh, actually, the band Reliant K took their name from the Dodge Reliant, which was a K car, uh, because it was such a Reliant K, uh, car. Uh, or at least that's the story I've heard. Maybe they can uh, let us know in the comments. I don't know if you never watch my videos, but you know, it's a fantasy. One of my favorite bands watching my videos, that would be kind of cool. Um, so yeah, this truck seems to be a little bit wobbly um, when you're driving through. So yeah, I like the Dodge. Um, I didn't like the Dodge uh, Viper, but I like the SRT. A pickup truck which had the, the Viper V10 in it. Um, I also like, uh, let's see, in the Chevy, I like the uh, Silverado, but I also like the uh, Malibu. Well, I don't like the Malibu. I like the newer ones. I didn't like the ones uh, from the 90s and early 2000s. They were a weird look to them. Um, I'm sure that was the Impalas. I didn't like the Chevy Impalas. They just had a weird look to the tail end of them. Um, but yeah, you know, I, each manufacturer has at least one car that I like, and at least one car that I dislike. And you know, it's it's it comes down to customer service. Which car company treats you better? And that's the 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 end all be all. Just like cell phone companies, which company treats you better is the one you're going to go to. Which one has the best deal, the best bang for the buck? That's the one you're most likely to go to. You're not going to go to one that uh, has a prettier logo. Uh, just like you shouldn't go with a car just because it's pretty, because uh, if it's pretty, most times they're not very comfortable to drive. Um, a lot of those supercars don't have air conditioning, so they can limit the weight of the car. Um, and thus make it more uh, lightweight and easy, uh, you know, lightweight and easier to uh, pick up the speed. However, again, like I said, I don't mind uh, certain cars. If I had to choose a favorite supercar, um, I would more than like to say my favorite, 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 favorite all time uh, would be the Lamborghini Countach, the Lamborghini. Much. That was, it looked weird, but it was, it was a nice weird. Um, if I could afford a supercar now, it would definitely have to be the uh, Bugatti Veyron 16.4, but I don't have that kind of money. Who does? You know, not many people have that money. And those who have that money really don't care about that kind of car. Um, if I had that money, I'd probably go with either, uh, I'd love to drive one of them, so I'd probably take Drive. But I'd probably, if I had the money that uh, is required for something like that, I might just buy a Rolls Royce Silver Ghost and a chauffeur and, you know, just be driven around that um, Yeah, that's Alan's Dream 101, uh, and it'll never happen. Um, Yeah, the Silver Ghost is a nice car, expensive as hell, rare as hell as well, so... Um, I guess I wouldn't mind a Tesla, or even one of the other uh, fully electric cars, maybe the, I don't like the Evo, had a weird look to it, but you know what I'm saying, like, something unique. I've always said to my friends, if, if I had a lot of money, I would have... Something like Chip, uh, Chip Foods, custom make a car for me. Now, it wouldn't be a modern day car. Oh, sorry, it would be a modern day car, but with an old school look. And what I'd do is, I'd have them take carbon fiber, create the entire car out of carbon fiber, um, and aluminum. Carbon fiber, aluminum, the lightest weight materials you can find. I'd have a chassis that was changeable, so I could shorten it or expand it or whatever. And um, the main body would be a carbon 
fiber car, or I don't know, maybe a Eldorado or a Galaxy or something like that, but it would be made out of carbon fiber, and it would be battery powered, so it would be super, super lightweight, but powerful. Um, and a hell of a lot cheaper to run than a uh, fuel version of that car, uh, or an original version, I should say. Um, and I like the Eldorados, I like the um, Galaxy, the Ford Galaxy. When I, when I was younger, my favorite car was the 82 Monte Carlo SS. But that's what I said, if I could, I'd get a changeable, interchangeable bodies. Uh, maybe make the uh, chassis so you could extend it or you know, like maybe maybe have a modular system so you could, uh, if you need a longer car, you uh, pull out the chassis and away you go. I don't know. I'm probably just making more sense here. This is what happens when you're driving, even in a video game. Um, Uh, sort of wall for me to see the 
the lights are visible on the inside. <laughs> That's right. If the uh, monitor of this truck happens to watch my video, which I doubt is going to happen, you got to fix the a few small things. You got to fix the uh, the blinker being visible inside. You got to fix the lights being visible inside. That's why it tends to turn quite easily. It's a little less stiff it feels than the uh, standard truck. And we're in a little area that I've never been in before. I have to sit my uh, home. Okay, now I have a phone. Of course I've been here this morning. I live on the map, so... It's just not so hard to go off. One thing I'd love to see SCF do is configure places differently, change things up, make us think. What in the world am I getting myself into? How do I get into this spot? How do I get out of this spot? How do I get into the place here? No, just do that. Look at, um, I think it was the Brazil map that uh, the scrolls nuts recently reviewed. SES, take a look at that map. Take a look at Pro Maps. Take a look at the other ones. And just change. You know, this is a simulation. So simulate reality.
that's all I want. SCS, yes, it's not that big of a deal. Simulate reality. If you ever get Canada in American Truck Simulator, simulate reality. From Toronto, if you're gonna have cities, then you need to have like Toronto and Kingston and London and Woodstock, because they all have major, major, major um, shipping industries. So show that. And show real times. From London, from Toronto to Detroit, would take, I think it's two, three, about three and a half to four hours. In the game, it seemed to only take less than that, like maybe an hour and a half. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and uh, have yourself a great day.